Hello everyone, it's Armstrong here from Adai Miniatures and today um, I decided to remedy one of my little issues on the table which is, you know, lack of bikers. So I dug out a bag of them that I have printed two years ago or so on my old printer and just, you know, decided to prime them and today I'm gonna start painting them. Well, finish painting them. Yeah, so let's go on the table and see how it's gonna turn out. I'm really hoping for the best because this scale is terrifying me. Yeah, I'm not the greatest at painting with little detail. That's why I have this apparatus, it helps me to see better. Yeah, so let's just get on the table. And here we are on the table. The first layer is uh, gonna be a metallic. Yeah? I want to just dry brush everything in metallic. I probably could get a bigger brush for that. Yeah, but then I don't want to uh, over uh, do it. So, you know, better smaller brush for me and just go with a little bit of precision instead of just slapping everything. Yeah, but you can see that I'm really struggling with this. This is not uh, like this tiny miniatures. Yeah, I, I, I know how to paint miniatures and I have how you can see better brush in here, yeah, which suits the entire process better. But I'm always, you know, I'm always trying to rush through the beginning steps and then, you know, try to fix what I screw up yeah so just metallic on the bike generally and this guy probably I can f hit his helmet and shoulder pads let's have a kind of you know road warrior vibe yeah you have this kind of menacing head with spiky shoulder pads so you know it definitely fits into genre and i'm gonna be constantly probably bumping my head into the uh, camera as this uh, magnifying glass is protruding quite a lot of my face but you know this is the same step on every single bike so i'm just gonna Stop right here, paint them all and be right back. Now that I have the metallic parts blasted with the <clears throat> with the metal, the next part is gonna be picking up the uh, clothing, yeah? So what I'm thinking, in most cases, it's gonna be blue jeans or brown, brown trousers. And I'm probably gonna do black or brown shoes. I actually did put a black paint in here. I put it behind the blue. Yeah, this is. So just gonna squeeze a little bit in here. Oh, I didn't mix it properly. That's. Better. It's not black, it's grey, but it's still, you know, dark grey, so it's okay. So let's start from the shoes, and I think that shoes gonna be mainly gray in this case and they're gonna be gray or brown as I would imagine the bikers would wear leather shoes so you know normally it would be black but since I already took the grey out, I will just go with the grey and brown combination. I really hope that I'm keeping this. And you see, the, like this, this print doesn't actually have like mm, pronoun line where the shoes are finishing. So you need to figure out this yourself and that's probably the biggest uh, 
issue I have with some of the 3D prints that, you know, the guys didn't actually make the shoes pronounced, but then I, again, at this scale, it can just go and vanish on you, even if you did. Uh, this guy gonna have brown shoes, this lady gonna have brown shoes. This guy is gonna have brown shoes, so this is gonna have grey shoes. And I'm sorry about, you know, hitting the camera uh, all the time, but it's simply unavoidable with this apparatus. I'm trying my best to not hit it, but if I put my head... Oh, that's too much of a paint here. If I put my head uh, up, I'm hitting it, so... Is the annoying part of this. And again, in here, you know, when you have the biker, you can interpret that he have taller shoes, you know, like cowboy shoes, and just do that. But I rather have them with smaller shoes. Okay, so I'm gonna just grab a brown paint the other group with the brown shoes and be right back. So I just wanted to jump into this moment of the video and ask you if you like what I'm doing, please rate, comment and subscribe. Yeah, and of course share with your friends, family and anyone else who is willing to watch it. Yeah, it's very important for us small YouTubers to, you know, ask for this stuff because our channels are, you know, <laughs> it's hard to grow a channel and uh, every subscriber is uh, really appreciated around here so please do so you know subscribe and chat with me in the comment section thank you very much for listening to that <laughs> so i have all the shoes painted yeah? not that you can really see a difference between gray and uh, metallic that well but next step gonna be uh, blue jeans and sitting, you know, and painting the rest of the of the shoes, I decided that everybody in this gang gonna be wearing blue jeans. Yeah. And why did I decide so? Uh, my logic was, you know, probably they found a abandoned store, yeah, and they, you know, just got those blue jeans out of there. So every single member is wearing the same blue jeans and that's gonna be probably the name of the gang, the blue jeans gang or whatever, yeah, oh my goodness, yeah, but I'm gonna just apply the blue jeans to everyone and again be back. And the jeans are done, mm, so you can see. How it turned out. Uh, I decided to paint the male jackets if they have a jacket red. So like this one here have a jacket and I'm gonna be just using my usual uh, scab red for the jackets. Yeah. And if a female have a jacket and I don't know if it is a female or not character but it's a little bit smaller than the usual men. But this one have a nice jacket, I'm gonna paint it pink. Yeah, and uh, all of the other clothes, I'm gonna have to figure out what I want to do with this. Okay, sorry about that. So get my magnification device that's constantly hitting the screen, <coughs> the phone. That I'm recording with. I really need to figure out the way to have the phone set up so it ain't going into my face but <laughs> I've been recording these videos for what <clears throat> a few months now well if you look at the start of my channel that's gonna be probably a few years but for seriously just few months 
and <clears throat> this is still the most comfortable for me to record I guess because I can always look at the screen and check am I actually holding the miniature inside of the the camera field of view you know it helps me a lot so there you have the first red jacket it's very basic blue and red paint job <clears throat> and I tend to you know uh, gravitate to this kind of colors so that's why I want the pink and this is gonna be quite dirty pink because you know that pink don't like to be applied on top of black yeah, if I have to apply pink, I would rather apply it on white. But I already have this undercut. So I need to work with what I have. And applying a next layer of paint on this is not advisable as it is a tiny miniature. So the more layers you add, the more details you're going to obscure. So it's a fight with a paint right now. But, you know, because the paints are very well mixed, this one actually, oh my goodness, is covering fairly well. And you know, in this, in this tiny space that I'm working right now, it's quite hard to not make mistakes. All right, that's the pink jacket. And now, you know, I'm just gonna pick up all of the jackets and then all of the other clothing and be back in a second. So I did pick up the colors, how you can see. Uh, there's two t-shirts in this entire gang and you know, the one on this and one on this guy and I painted them both in white. And now comes the easy part which is painting the lamps yellow yeah. and this is very easy because you just apply the blob of yellow and this gonna make the entire difference on these models because I ain't planning to go and highlight them and make you know the little shadow and little dots you know whenever wherever yeah, just to notify that they have the lights on. Yeah, so this was the easy part, and now comes the worst part for me, which is faces and hands. Yeah, and you know, this is something that I struggle even with bigger scale minis. So, wow, this is blobbing as heck. Sorry about that. Yeah, but how you can see, this is nightmare inducing. <laughs> yeah, my painting of faces and hands is always a nightmare. And to be completely honest, I can't even recognize where her fingers are in here. I think they should be here, but even with two and a half times magnification, I can barely see them. Yeah. And come on. This is not pretty at all. Yeah, there is a tom pretty much painted by me. Yeah, but I'm gonna have to go around and fix all of them and as well fix this yellow light right now because I just smoosh it and you know, be back. After adding skin, those minis looks 
terrifying. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> you know, there is only really one more step to do. Well, maybe two, because I think that I'm gonna wash them with noon oil afterwards. Just to darken everything out a little bit. But the step that is left now is hairs. I think orange, brown and uh, yellow are going to be my colors of choice for this. So I'll just grab something easy. In here we have a tiny sliver of hair just going backwards. Yeah, so this is going to be the easiest one. I funny thing that it's still possible to screw <laughs> to be screwed. <laughs> so yeah, oh, sorry. Yep, so you have one redhead and maybe one of the guys, this one. see that I really struggle with these tiny details even though I have it increased to two and a half times size in my eyes it's still quite hard to paint it in a decent manner yeah but yeah that's what you get when you decide to play in such a small scale yeah and you know of course blondes and browns as well but this is too much of a uh, this is too hard to paint on the camera so it's gonna be back in a second all right so here i am almost done yeah and you know the noon oil really help this uh, extremely bad looking faces yeah and as well you know my bad paint job to actually being fixed a little bit there's just one thing that I want to address and it is wheels, yeah? They were black and when I was uh, painting with the metallics, I hit a lot of the rubber. So I want to bring the rubber on the wheels back to being black or at least, you know, close enough. Yeah, so I just gonna do that and then I gonna throw those minis on the spin table. So here they are, my six bikers of post-apocalypse. Yeah. Uh, I was struggling with this paint job, and you can see that on the minis. Yeah, they are not perfectly painted, but they are completely surfaceable on the ta tabletop. Uh, I know that there are people who would paint them ten times better, but I still don't have those skills. Yeah, if I ever acquire them, I'm gonna be very happy, but. I'm modestly happy with this, how those minis turn out, yeah? I would be happier if they look much better, but, you know, I get what I get. This is my skill level and I cannot go any farther. So if you like it, you know, please rate, comment, subscribe and share with your friends, family and everyone else. And this is it for today. So everybody have a lovely day and take care.